He looked more like an accountant than a golfer, until he picked up a club. George Knudsen's short, quick swing was almost identical to Ben Hogan's. He loved to hit a perfect golf shot. To him, putting was uh, just like what Ben Hogan was. It, it was not part of the game. You know, he, he, he wanted to hit a good, a perfect golf shot, and that's, he did that a lot. George was a great striker of the ball, and uh, uh, you know, I think he just never quite got to his, his potential because he couldn't get it in the hole. An unreliable, inconsistent putter was all that kept one of Canada's greatest from becoming one of the best in the world. Nicholas once described him as a million dollar swinger and a 10 cent putter. A million dollar swing and a 10 cent putter, well, you know, I don't know, but uh, George was a heck of a player. When his putter did cooperate, the Winnipeg native was almost unbeatable on any tour. In 1968, a rare two-week hot streak of putting gave him back-to-back -back victories in Phoenix and Tucson, two of his eight PGA Tour wins. He also won a World Cup and came within a stroke of a master's green jacket. Uh, when he did get the handle with the putter, he was going to win, which he proved uh, over and over again. Well, he was Canada's hero at that time because of his play and, and his history of uh, playing the game. George Knudsen was only 51 when he passed away in 1989. A decade later, he was named Canada's Golfer of the Century. <laughs>